An 82-year-old man comes to the office for evaluation of a spot on his back. He thinks the skin lesion has been present for many months to a few years, but is unsure. The lesion was asymptomatic until it recently started itching. It is large and dark, but the patient is not sure whether it is evolving. The question is, which of the following is the most appropriate next step in management of this patient's skin lesion? Your options are A. Cryotherapy destruction of the lesion B. Excisional biopsy of the lesion C. Observation over three to six months D. Punch biopsy from the lesion border E. Punch biopsy from the lesion center Type your answer in the comment box. Congratulations if your answer is B, which is excisional biopsy of the lesion. Clinical features of melanoma A, B, C, D, E A. Asymmetry When bisected, the two sides are not identical B. Border irregularities Uneven edges, pigment fading off C. Color variation Variable mixtures of brown, tan, black, and red D. Diameter greater than or equal to 6 mm E. Evolving lesion changing in size, shape, or color, new lesion The initial clinical assessment of pigmented skin lesions should emphasize identifying those that could be melanoma and therefore warrant biopsy Biopsy is appropriate in any of the following situations The lesion has features that suggest melanoma using a validated predictive rule Example, lesions displaying greater than or equal to 1 to 2 of the ABCDE criteria. The lesion has inflammatory changes, itching, crusting, or bleeding, or sensory changes. Example, paresthesia. The lesion is significantly different in appearance from other lesions on the same patient. Ugly duckling sign. The lesion develops thickening or nodularity which may indicate vertical growth and increase metastatic risk. This patient's lesion is asymmetrical with a somewhat irregular barter and notable color variegation, dark brown, light brown, and pink. The associated itching further raises the risk, as does the apparent nodulanity. To rule out melanoma, full thickness excisional biopsy with 1 to 3 millimeter margins of normal tissue is recommended. Partial excision, example deep shave biopsy, central or peripheral punch biopsy, is generally only considered for very large lesions or lesions in locations where complete excision may be problematic like ear or face. Partial excision may not allow adequate sampling for diagnosis or accurate measurement. Of the lesion's depth, the most important prognostic indicator in melanoma as in choices D and E. If you chose any option other than B, you are incorrect. Let's briefly discuss the other options. Choice A. In-situ destruction via cryotherapy or topical fluorouracil is indicated for treatment of actinic keratosis. Actinic keratosis presents as small, rough and papules in sun-exposed areas, example scalp, face, hands, and typically is not pigmented. Choice C. Periodic surveillance is recommended for patients with numerous or atypical nevi that do not have suspicious features. Suspected melanomas warrant tissue confirmation without delay. If you're finding this difficult to understand, consider watching this episode again.